Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we'll be taking a look at a custom flats boat guaranteed to turn heads, the TRB Skimmer Skiff. To begin with the build, TRB chose a sharp gray color from the All Grip color chart and had skimmer skiffs color match this into a gel coat to be applied into the hull mold from the start. For those who desire a fishing boat that has the family in mind, we'll be looking at the Southport 27FE. The transom had a hideaway bench seat. It's great because this provides extra seating and it's even better when you're fishing because you're able to push it down and get it out of the way and that opens up the deck for more room. And for family and friends that like to enjoy time on the water, no matter the activity, we'll be taking a look at the Renaissance Prowler 42. For serious live bait fishermen, there's spacious live wells in each corner at the transom and three 1,600 gallon per hour pumps. All coming up on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. What's the best boat for you? Whether you desire precision while pulling across the shallowest of flats, the ability to roam a variety of destinations from inshore to offshore, no boundaries while in vast expanses of open ocean, or you just want to create lasting memories with friends and family on the water. Join Florida Sportsman's trusted boating experts as they review the latest from today's most popular boating manufacturers to help you decide which is the best boat for you. Welcome to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Hey, there's a lot of episodes where we go from small boats to big boats. Today, we really take it to the extreme. We're going from tiny boat to beast mode. You won't want to miss it. Rick, we're going to start out the show this week with something a little bit outside of the box for Best Boat. Today, we're going to have a look at a boat that was built in one facility and rigged and customized in another. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. Well, guys, I'm excited for the Southport 27 FE family edition. Now, we all know when I take the boat out, I'm thinking about my family. And this boat checks every box to make the family comfortable and have a fun day on the water. Well, when I take a boat out, I'm thinking about big fish and big water. I can't wait to jump on the Renaissance Prowler 42. It's a big cat and you're going to have to see it to believe it. When we return, our hosts take a look at a flats boat that does more than float shallow, the TRB Skimmer Skiff. But first, let's join FS host Lori Hargrave as she discusses Ocean Tamer's beanbag chairs in this week's seminar series. We're here today to talk about the advantages of Ocean Tamer beanbags. First off, they're 100% marine grade, and the best part is, is that they're made in the USA. For my family and I, bean bags are a part of our everyday boating. We use them inshore and offshore. It really helps absorb the shock and the pounding and the discomfort from the waves and rough seas. And I have to say, my kids will sit in one and they're passed out in two seconds. And this is great, especially for those long trips running over to the Bahamas. And saying that, when it's all said and done at the end of the day, they are very lightweight, easy to rinse off, and you have these handles right here on the bottom of the bean bag that when I get home at the end of the day, I have a hook in my garage that I just throw them up there, dry off, and they're out of the way. If you want the softest, most comfortable seat on the boat, make sure you don't forget your Ocean Tamer bean bag. This segment brought to you by Fishing Nosara, the best sport fishing in Costa Rica. Fishing Nasara, Costa Rica's best sport fishing. Fight the world's baddest fish with top quality boats, professional tackle, and family friendly English speaking captains. Stay in the authentic nature preserve with wildlife at your doorstep. World class surfing, nature tours, yoga, and fine dining are all at your fingertips in Nosara. Packages start at $700 per person. Don't delay, book today. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the TRB Skimmer Skiff, a flats boat designed for shallow water fishing in serious style. The TRB Skimmer Skiff has an overall length of 16 feet 6 inches, a beam of 5 feet 9 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 60. Built for slicing through a chop and floating shallow, she has a draft of 6 inches, a dead rise of 5 degrees, a dry weight of 600 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 10 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. George, today is a special day. We got a new boat here. It's a skimmer skiff, but it's TRB edition. 
Now, you have some experience with Two River Boat Works with Project Dream Boat. They brought this boat to us and it is fully custom to the T. And I'm really looking forward to everything that's on this boat and seeing what they've done. But I'm afraid that I'm gonna go home with a checklist on what I want my boat to start having. Yeah, I completely understand. Now this is a departure from uh, our typical model for the show, Lori. I mean, normally we're gonna bring you a boat that's built by a manufacturer and you get the boat that they build. And certainly they've got options they can add to it and you can choose which options you want but this takes it way over to the next level. This is taking a boat that's a blank canvas and then adding a bunch of different really high-end options that you won't be able to get from the original manufacturer. It's a really special boat and I'm looking forward to spending the day on it. Let's go, George, it's gorgeous out today. This boat begins its life as a 16-foot skimmer skiff, but is leveled up to something entirely different by the team at Two Rivers Boat Works. You might be familiar with this shop if you're a fan of our sister show, Project Dream Boat. The finishing details completed that make this Two Rivers Custom Shop edition stand out in a crowd are part aesthetics and part functionality. To begin with the build, TRB chose a shark gray color from the All Grip color chart and had skimmer skiffs color match this into a gel coat to be applied into the hull mold from the start. TRB had a very particular look in mind for this project and wanted the finished colors and extensive deck matting to suggest a specific vibe. Continuing in this theme, all of the metallic hardware, and I mean everything that could be done, from the pulling platform and jack plate to each deck drain and through-haul fitting, were removed and sent out to be finished in Cerakote. This unique satin finish imparts a very classy tone to the overall look of this skiff. Today we had sea deck that lined the entire boat, which was really nice. It's like walking on carpet at home. There is a huge difference, and it's easier on the back if you ask me. But what I really like about Sea Deck is when you're doing a custom boat, you don't have to have that one color. There is a variety of colors. Ladies, you could even throw in some pink in there if you wanted to. Next, a custom console dash panel was fabricated and smoked acrylic glass work was installed for the windscreen and helm face, along with a smoked acrylic lid for the live well. On the dash panel, TRB chose a Simrad Go 12 MFD unit for electronics and decided to add C-Zone digital switching for a clean looking display. The C-Zone hardware is easily accessed in the console. A wireless cell phone charging pad was added inside the console as well. A JL Audio Media Master 50 audio system along with four JL 8.8 .8 color controlled speakers were installed for cruising days and beach partying and a full RGBW lighting suite from the interior to the matched underwater Lumatec Quattro RGBW lights on the transom were used for after dark effects. The controller for the multicolor light effects is located on a dial found on a custom switch panel mounted into the bulkhead behind your legs from the driver's position. This panel also features electronic start and stop buttons for the mercury outboard and a lift controller for the jack plate. For a combination of utility and style, TRB installed a Minn Kota trolling motor designed for freshwater use due to its black finish color in keeping with the overall appearance of this project. They later retrofitted the working components of this motor to saltwater friendly parts to avoid the corrosion issue since this boat will primarily be used in salt water. For power to the trolling motor, a pair of lithium batteries and a stealth charging system were installed to keep weight down and the batteries always topped off. The boat rode fantastic and that proved today when George was going over some boat wake, I actually held myself down waiting to roll, never happened. Good job, Dale. This Two Rivers custom project has taken what might ordinarily be considered an entry-level flats boat from a features versus cost standpoint into previously uncharted territory. Each of these modifications are unusually specific to the needs of a very particular buyer and not what you'd find on most production boats by a long shot. The fact is that this boat only demonstrates what can be done to a bare boat skeleton when the only limits you have are the depth of your imagination along with the funds to match. George, what really impressed me today about this boat is it's brand new and it's custom. When you think of a custom boat, you're usually taking in an older boat to try to make it look new, put new things on there to revamp it. This was a brand new boat and it is revamped to that cool factor because now you've got all the technology on top of a new boat and it's not an older hull. Yeah, it, it does make sense and it's a good point. You know, the whole idea of not doing a resto mod on an older boat, but taking a blank canvas 
brand new boat and building it the way you like, it's kind of a novel idea and I think that the Two Rivers Edition Skimmer Skiff is a great example of what you can do with that. But, you know, that's not limited to just this boat too. I mean, think of the possibilities. I think they're really limitless and I think this is a very exciting trend that we might be seeing coming down the pike in the future of boating. I mean, I, this is something that really has got a lot of legs and I'm very curious to see where this goes from here. But as far as I'm concerned, the Skimmer Skiff by Two Rivers, it's definitely something worth checking out. When we return, our hosts examine a fishing boat loaded with family features, the Southport 27 FE. This segment brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the Southport 27 FE, a center console that offers plenty of amenities for the family while spending the day fishing. The Southport 27 FE has an overall length of 26 feet 6 inches, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 500. Designed to easily handle offshore conditions, she has a draft of 20 inches, a dead rise of 22 degrees, a dry weight of 5,900 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 204 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. George, today we're on the Southport 27 FE. Now, if you remember, FE is family edition, my favorite, and we saw her big sister, the 30, a couple months ago. I had a ball on that boat, but 27 is more appealing to me and my family and lifestyle. Just trailering for instance it's a lot easier to handle so i'm really looking forward to today lori i see this boat as a really good fit for you not just because of the trailer ability but because of the family features that they're really working into these fe editions i was a big fan of the 30. i don't see any reason for me not to like this one as much the boat's built in maine i feel like we're in maine what do you say we take a ride and see what this thing's all about let's go george i personally love to fish i love to be with my family I enjoy pulling up to the sandbar and entertaining, and I especially love being able to travel with the boat. And the Southport 27 FE checks all those boxes. The bow had bench style seats with storage underneath on the port and starboard sides. This is always nice, especially if you have another family on board with you. It gives everyone their own space and helps you stay organized. Between these seats is a table that can be raised and lowered electrically from deck height to sit flush with the seats as a casting or sun platform and be further raised for a dining table. At the front of the console, another wide seat faces forward and features a drink box beneath the seat. Seeing that this is a family edition, it's important to have amenities for the family to be comfortable. So I was not surprised to see the inside of the console today. There was sea deck on the stairs and the floor along with a head, sink, and countertop, and hanging storage organizers. I know my family would be comfortable. The console and hardtop on the Southport include some nice touches that look very clean and add functionality as well. The pipework on this model fits trimly against the console to allow plenty of clearance walking fore and aft. A pair of independent helm seats feature contoured back and armrests and can be adjusted for sitting in or leaning against. Behind the helm seats, a tackle center console provides a home for plenty of storage trays along with leader spools, caddies, and knife holders. The transom had a hideaway bench seat. It's great because this provides extra seating and it's even better when you're fishing because you're able to push it down and get it out of the way and that opens up the deck for more room. Beneath the deck on the 27FE are a storage compartment forward in the center fore deck, a pair of roomy compartments for fish or gear alongside the helm area and a large bilge access in the cockpit deck. An additional fish hold is located within the transom, and this box is offered with a chill plate option as well. A 25 gallon live well is also located in the transom corner to port. A feature in the transom I really liked was the walkthrough door, leading you out to a wraparound platform covered in sea deck. 
This provides easy access to your motors and makes it nice when getting back on the boat from the water. This model with twin F250 Yamaha power was quick out of the hole and cruised easily along in the 30s while staying below 4,000 RPM. Top speeds in the 50 mile an hour range are there if you need it, but economy closer to two miles a gallon was realistic if you kept it in the 30s. My initial impression of the Southport was how the finish work and style were really very carefully crafted, and that as a family fishing center console that this was clearly a top tier boat. As I stepped off of the boat at the end of the day, however, my lasting impression would be the ride this model offered. In a steady 15 mile an hour breeze and over a brisk two to four foot chop, we ran effortlessly into the head sea without so much as a slap and never saw a drop of spray hit the windscreen. Granted, it wasn't perfect storm conditions, but just the kind of sea that can give you second thoughts about making a long run with the family. Lori, we just finished up our day here on the Southport 27FE Family Edition. And you know, when we left the dock this morning, you and I both wanted to dig into the family features on this boat. But for me, at the end of the day, what stood out absolutely the most to me was the ride on this boat. What a great ride in 27 foot boat. I mean, I can't say enough about how comfortable I was today. You're right, George, the ride was incredible today. And with the family features, yes, they are great on the boat, but the ride is just as important because you want the family to be comfortable on the boat and the ride includes that. And that's what I was impressed with today as well. What better boat than the Southport 27 Family Edition to take your family on and be comfortable inshore and offshore. When we come back, our hosts step aboard a very spacious family boat built for wherever the day takes you, the Renaissance Prowler 42. This segment brought to you by The Plantation on Crystal River, where Southern hospitality meets old Florida charm. The Plantation on Crystal River is a beautiful 50-year-old, 232-acre old Florida-style resort, offering comfortable accommodations and a full-service spa. Fishing is spectacular, from snook, trout, and reds to big grouper and snapper. On-site activities range from golf to boating, fishing, and swimming with the manatees in the natural springs of Kings Bay, the plantation on Crystal River. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they check out the Renaissance Prowler 42, a roomy catamaran geared for both family fun and blue water activities. The Renaissance Prowler 42 has an overall length of 41 feet 10 inches, a beam of 12 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 1800. Designed for cruising comfortably beyond the sight of land, she has a draft of 18 inches, a dead rise of 26 degrees, a dry weight of 8400 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 400 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, today we're on the Renaissance Prowler 42. Walking up to the dock today, wow. But I have questions for you guys. Are we racing somebody today or are we gonna go fishing? Because I think she's set up to do both. Well, she's set up to do a lot of things and that's what really appeals to me, Lori. You know how you always wanna bring these people, there's people that you keep saying, yeah, come go fishing with us, come go. Bring them all, brother, bring them all, we got room. Well, listen, Rick, you and I have been on a Renaissance Prowler 42 before. However, they made some improvements to the bottom. It really amped up the game for this boat. And I haven't ridden on it since they've changed the bottom. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the thing's going to do. You guys ready to go do this? Absolutely. I can't imagine a 42 footer that can make the sea easier to handle than the Renaissance Prowler 42. This 42-footer is ideally suited for long runs in rough weather, as well as providing an extremely roomy and stable platform once you get to the grounds. From the minute I stepped on that boat, it was hard to get over how much room you can get out of a 12-foot beam. But that's because her beam stays wide all the way from the bow to the transom. The deck layout can be configured in multiple styles to the owner's specs. Our test model was outfitted with an open, single-level foredeck, allowing plenty of room for multiple anglers to work comfortably around within. At the bow, three large hatches, each open to access to a deep compartment for storing gear. Today we had lounge seating built for two. These seats are stylish, overbuilt, and functional. If you like to lay out and get some sun and be comfortable, this was definitely the spot to be at. Inside the console was a whole lot of nothing, and I loved it. It's like a giant suitcase. 
You can pack whatever you want and organize it the way you want. At the helm, there's room for three 16-inch displays under the shade of a massive hardtop. Three across independent seating is arranged in two rows for six passenger comfort on those long runs. The second row of seating at the helm had individual coolers under each seat. The helm seating also had folding arm and foot rest, grab bars, drink holders, and glove boxes for storage. Pretty sure they thought about everything. Behind the rear seating row, a large tackle center and rigging station combined with a mezzanine seat are conveniently located in the large cockpit work area. An additional pair of 550 quart insulated fish boxes are below deck here as well, each flanking the outboard section of the helm seating and tackle station. For serious live bait fishermen, there's spacious live wells in each corner at the transom and three 1,600 gallon per hour pumps. One to feed into each pressurized well and one spare 1,600 that you can feed into either well by just throwing a switch. Trying to juggle dive gear and getting back up on the boat can be a mess and having that center walkthrough platform can make the situation a lot easier. In the aft corners are two bilge access points to allow pump access. In order to accommodate a quad 450 horse Mercury Racing power plant, some modifications were made to the bottom of this model. The newer tunnel design adds air volume by both widening the space between the sponsons and raising the height to allow a more free tunnel gap, more suited to the higher speeds attained with the additional 1100 horsepower. Rigged with the Quad 450R Mercury engines, the Prowler 42 reaches top speeds in excess of 80 miles an hour. The combination of speed and performance, along with an exceptionally streamlined profile, comfort and fishability make this model one that you need to spend a day on to really appreciate. Well guys, it was a long day, but a fun day. So normally when we get out that inlet, I'm always so excited to get the lines in the water and just start fishing. I never wanted the boat to stop. I just wanted to keep on riding. This boat ate up that water today. It did, Lori. And you know what? Not very often I get on a boat and wish that it was rougher. I mean, it was a pretty, you know, it was a little choppy with a groundswell today. But I mean, a boat like this, the way it was riding, I really want to see what it can do in really big seas. I mean, it, it was definitely something to behold. Well, one of my heroes told me one time that it never gets too calm to scare him, OK? Well, and I'm with you. Today, I would have loved to have seen a bigger sea. But I gotta tell you, everything this boat did, this boat is so big, and she's big for her size. Does that make sense? I mean, you've got all the room in the world. I gotta tell you, in a toolbox full of boats that you would need to do things on the water, the Renaissance Prowler 42 is the hammer. Frick, you were right. We had three completely different boats today, and we had a lot of information. We did. Hey, if you want any information about any of these boats, or any other boat you see on Best Boat, Visit us on the web at floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you next week on another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat.